You've probably heard of the hit game, a game about digging a hole, right? Well, I got inspired by it and wanted to make a mini game in Minecraft. And so I did. First, let's talk about the rules of this game, which I titled Dig in the Dark, or DID for short. In this game, you're stuck on a deserted island. However, this island is completely dark, like no light sources at all. You spawn in a metal hut and you're given a brush, a torch, and a lighter. Using this brush, you're supposed to dig up suspicious sand blocks and sell the items to this arcade machine inside the hut. The torch can either be placed down or held in the offhand for dynamic lighting. After a while though, the torch burns out, forcing you to use the lighter on it. The lighter only has two uses though, so you gotta use it sparingly. When you sell items, your quota increases. The goal of the game is to increase your quota up to a certain amount in the shortest amount of time possible. Now that you know the rules, let's get to First, I spent about an hour modeling the lighter, the torch, and the evil arcade machine. In game, I added in the items and coded in a basic plot on and plot off function that run when the game starts and ends respectively. Next, I wanted the suspicious sand to respawn on the ground after the game ends. So I created a basic raycast system which turned any suspicious sand block which has been dug up into a smooth sandstone block so that it may convert back to suspicious sand when the game ends. Here, I also decided to add in a mob spawning mechanic. Basically, there is a 20% chance for you to spawn one of six random types of mobs when you dig out an item from the suspicious sand. After that, I made it so that players cannot drop items on the ground to prevent one person's collected loot from going to a different person. Then I added in a tempered loot table and made it so that any player outside of a range of the hut gets blindness. Afterwards, I created a basic system which allowed me to track the amount of uses of the lighter and display a broken variant after the lighter has been used two times. Next, I simply um, borrowed some code and created a dynamic lighting system. I made a timer that counts down to zero and when it reaches zero, it would force the torch to burn out. I also went ahead and made the torch block placeable. Since that was a mechanic my dumbass came up with, when a torch has been burnt out, you need to light it with a lighter. Currently, that wasn't really working, so I added that mechanic as well. I added a player ID system to make sure that placed torches can only be picked up by their owners, and made it so that torches burn out even if they're on the ground. Soon after, I added a credit space that would be shown when you reach 150 quota. Later, I changed the required quota to 690 though. That was mainly to make the game last longer, but also because it's 69. It's funny, okay? It's funny. And finally, I changed the loot table so that it's more balanced, made the game actually completable, and made it so that the arcade machine, now with evil eyes, buys items from you. Now all I had to do was add a timer to the game and make players be able to start and finish the game. This mini game is actually part of an upcoming project called Skylands, which is supposed to be released sometime in August this year. Skylands is basically a bunch of mini games in one Minecraft map. Each mini game is presented as an island and you can play them however you want. I'll update you with more info in the pinned comment when it releases. You're trapped in the dark. Dig up items and sell them to the vendor to obtain the cloud in a bottle. Well, oh, we already got some loot. 13 potatoes. I can actually eat that or I can sell that to the vendor. Uh, I, I should probably use my dynamic lighting. The torch actually burns faster if you hold it in your offhand. So like it's generally best to place it down like this and then start digging stuff. We haven't gotten any mobs yet. We're probably gonna get a mob soon. Oh, there we go. It's slimes though. These guys are completely harmless actually. I was originally gonna add silverfish, but then I noticed that silverfish like to dig into stone. And that, that didn't really work because the metal hut's base is actually made of stone. Oh, hello. Oh, 
Yeah, this dude does not have a bow. I have no idea why. But I mean, having ranged combat in this situation would be pain. <laughs> After this, I'm gonna run uh, commands TP and then boom, here we are. I can sell each of these for a whopping 44 quota. Uh, there's also a bug where if you were to if you were to dig up stuff and you had your torch in the offhand, if you place the, your torch down, there is just no way to pick it up. And I haven't really fixed that either. This is mostly just like a demo, like I kinda wanna fix the bugs later. That's another bug. <laughs> and that's the nice thing about this process, you know, you keep on finding bugs while you're going through. Where would it be? Okay, here we are. Uh, let's command TP back. Alright. This is gonna give us a lot of quota. 280, not bad actually. There's also a bug where the raycast can accidentally target the wrong block. And if it does, then the position of the suspicious sand block that appears in the next game actually changes. So like this lobby can actually change over time compared to the original map. I didn't want to summon a marker entity for every single suspicious sand block in here. So I decided that we would run raycasting instead. And raycasting is not completely perfect. It can sometimes target the wrong block if you are at a specific angle. Ooh, power one on breaking. Oh yeah, and the screen flashes sometimes, um, that's because it doesn't know how to properly handle the blindness effect. Oh, oh hey, oh wow, that's a lot to explore, oh okay, here we are, already. You can actually accumulate XP by gaming here. How did, what, how did I get four helmets? How did I get four helmets? That's wild. Each one is like seven quota, I think. We're almost halfway to our 690 goal. Also, you can technically cheat this if you had Fulbright. Oh, yep. And our torch has burnt out, chat, which means we have to use the lighter on it. And you'll see that the lighter now has one use remaining. So, like, you can't, you can't use the lighter infinitely to light this torch so like if i use this one more time we're basically fucked only only like what 200 more to 690 oh my okay this is yeah this is where having a sword or like armor for example is important because those those guys can give you a fucking jump scare i didn't include a creeper for obvious reasons like oh my god back to back uh oh i haven't added in death causes Oh fuck. Uh-oh. I'm not I'm not quite sure what to do now. Oh yeah, I I have a function for this. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, here we are. <laughs> that was the easiest thing of my freaking life. Also, yes, we lost the torch. I have no idea where Oh, 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 okay. Okay, and then we have 11 raw iron. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we're like what? Yes, exactly 90. 90 more remain. So I, I just need to like dig around for a little bit more. I don't even have to use my lighter for the second time. And then I can light it again. And w watch. Here. Broken lighter. Uses left. Zero. You cannot use this item. So if this torch burns out again, I'm basically screwed. Hey buddy. Oh. It's the larger spider. This one isn't that difficult since it's not a poison spider. Also, I somehow removed the poison effect of the spider. Which is completely unintentional, but... Should I? I think, yeah, we should probably try to sell this stuff again. I just want to demonstrate this. It lights out, right? And then I can't use it anymore. I'm probably gonna set it back to like 300 or something. Okay. Oh my god, so close, but so far. I have to get 26 more quota. So like a few more suspicious sand blocks should do it. Alright. Oh my shit, brother. Har, 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 har. Oh, yep. Okay, well, these items are supposed to disappear, but this is, yeah, this is where the cloud in a bottle would usually spawn, but that is actually, in the Skyland version, it is not handled by me. Basically, the if you collect the cloud in a bottle in Skylands, it basically marks that minigame as complete. Well, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. If you like the content, please do subscribe. I spend at least 20 hours on every video I make, so if you subscribed, it would mean the world to me. I'm planning to make more minigames soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, explode. Giant.
Okay, so I just finished editing the video and I just noticed something, okay? So you know how the short form of dig in the dark is DID? Well, if you write it in lowercase and add D and Y to the end of it, you get 